I moved around a little bit before I finally came to America, but I came at a young age, like 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I guess you could say I joined Bad Crowd. ICNA Council for Social Justice is a social justice human rights organization that strives to systematically facilitate assertive Muslim involvement in the field of human struggle for the rights of the poor and oppressed in the United States. For several years now, we have been involved with many projects pertaining to human rights struggles in the U.S. One of our main projects is to support one of the most neglected Muslim communities, our brothers and sisters in the prison system. In 2009, because I was surrounded by a lot of brothers when I was incarcerated, and they taught me, they taught me the truth, basically, or what I believe is the truth. And our Muslim prisoners support projects, MPSP main objective is to support Muslim inmates in detention and correctional facilities by providing them with prayer services, Islamic education, weekly religious classes, equipment, supplies, and free Eid meals. Additionally, we provide resources for civil rights procedures and actions, mail correspondence, and a full-fledged re-entry program. It was very, very frustrating because we weren't able to have service, we weren't able to speak with brothers from other units, um, have Juma, um, Talim, it's, you know, like I said, I've been Muslim since 2009, and I learn new things every day. You can never stop learning with Islam. You can always learn from different brothers and sisters as well. And it's just the aspect of us being able to congregate with each other and to help each other and speak with each other and give each other books and, you know, knowledge and things of that nature. So Just before. being, like, Muslim, like, it was hard for me to get a hijab and it was hard for me, like, I got, I came from a different jail and they took it away from me and obviously they gave it back, but, you know, it's, it's hard to be one of the only female Muslims that, you know, wears a hijab consistently and I, I like, would really like it if like more you know sisters came in and like took the time. I'm back connected with my religion and my having talim, having Juma is like the highlight of the week in here. You know. But before the program, we didn't have any of that. We didn't have volunteers from the outside that were coming in here, taking the time out of their day to to go get us books, to go make sure that we're able to 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 learn properly. Muslims are represented in federal prisons at a rate roughly 15 times their proportion to the general population. 9.3% of inmates in federal prison self-identify as Muslims. From 1997 to 2008, Muslim federal prisoners filed the greatest number of requests for administrative remedies regarding religious accommodation of any group. It will be you helping helping other Muslims and Muslims to, to, to learn their faith, to know their purpose. Cause like, like one of the other brothers said, we have a lot of time on our hands. And instead of us, you know, filling it up with nonsense, TV, gossip, you know, reading things that's not not knowledgeable, we can we can learn, we can learn and we can base our time around Islam and learn more on the aspects of life and how to how to live it and you know not to possibly end up back in this position that we're in. My biggest goal is is to actually get back to my mom. I haven't seen my mom in like 14 years and I talk to her but it's still not the same. You know, she's back in Jordan and I'd like to get back to her to see her, you know. I miss her a lot. That's probably one of my biggest goals. Oh. You know, inshallah, I just want us all to right now to go to Jannah, inshallah, right? After I'm released, um, I hope to get married and raise my family in a Muslim like society and to, you know, find a mosque and keep helping other Muslims who are. Get, go find a mosque that, I'm, that, you know, I'm comfortable with, where I can go to, and just to, Inshallah, man, just to help 
help other, other brothers that's in here as well, man, any way that I can, whether it's, you know, sending crew fees or books or anything in that nature, just to, you know, you can only give, you, you, you can only give out what you receive, you know, so you just got to get your blessings that way, so get, get my blessings any type of way that I can. Ikna CSJ needs your help. Please consider donating today by visiting our website at iknacsj.org slash mpsp or email us at prisonersupport at iknacsj.org to volunteer. Thank you.